and drop down in the comments if we should buy some Walmart stuff one day and build a system. I guarantee you with like what we got going on right with these speakers, man, we can build something loud and with like doing some comps. Up, gang? Welcome back to a whole nother video, man. It's your boy Miles, man. I hope you've been enjoying these past two videos. They've been pretty good. Uh, first video, we actually took in the OBS truck and we went shopping. We did the, the main cutouts. Yesterday, we did routed out rings. If you guys did not catch those videos, man, just scroll back and you'll see those videos. Some good videos if you guys like the fiberglass and want to build some loud stuff. Uh, you know, just take that into uh, perspective I guess you can say and you know and if you guys are trying to build something like that man have at it um, but today's a whole nother video uh, we actually just set some rings down um, but I just got off the phone with my boy and uh, that tin that's on the top he actually wants it facing away from his ear because uh, he doesn't like that that this, all the loud crazy stuff is all new to him you see oh man I'm spitting it's all like new to him um, and then you know before you know we were just used to like six by nines and maybe like some six and a halves, but nowadays, man, we got speakers right up to your ears. You see what I'm saying? So we're gonna adjust those a little bit right now um, and get the console somewhat ready uh, for fleecing. And then I'm gonna take you along with me to Walmart because we gotta buy a couple little things to take the next step from fleecing and then fiberglassing. And then we need to get fiberglass mat, man. But before we get to all that, let's get into these shout outs. If you would like a shout out, all you gotta basically do is just drop a comment. We are starting to do shout outs uh, on the middle of the videos from now on. Man, I just want nothing but straight action in the beginning. Uh, so let's get to it. First shout out goes to Busta. He commented, what type of PRVs are you going with? And we're actually doing the 10MR1000X. These are actually the PRVs that we are going with. Look at these bad boys. Big boys, big boys. Heavy. The MR starts for mid-range. So with that being said, man, it's gonna play a pretty dope, deep, tone voice from it because um, you do have a different range of PRVs but that one plays a stronger uh, voice but with the eights there actually are a louder eight so with that like you mean you're just filling in gaps and then now with the tweeters man you fill in that other extra gap and it sounds phenomenal uh, next shout out goes to Robert Smith he comments so are the subs going to be in going to be infinitive baffle or are you doing enclosures nice to see you can do some pretty kick-ass stuff which is basic woodworking tools looking forward to the build and I already replied to him and I let him know that these tens are actually for voice and eights are for voice as well um, it's not a subwoofer uh, it's just uh, we're trying to get more voice out the truck and adding some tens is definitely gonna do the job man so you know and that's what we do down here man we put tens and tools for voices all over the place mr. K dog comment uh, why are you going to put the tweeters in front when it should be by the mids 
because the tweeters is going to be by the legs and not being able to hear complete sound. It's just a thought. Um, actually, that's a pretty good comment. Um, me personally, I like to put tweeters wherever there's mids at. You see what I'm saying? Just so it'll be like playing at the same level. Um, but and if you're looking at this area right here, we're actually gonna put like a six and then a tweeter up there uh, because he's already got uh, tweeters on the dash that are playing at like eye level, ear level, and then there's tweeters on the side. You see what I'm saying? Um, and it's got a good range of tweeter coming from all over the place. So now we just needed some stuff to go like sideways. So when he opens up the door, it's outwards, um, backwards, and forward. And that's what's going to go on with So thanks everybody for the shout uh, for the comments, man. Um, man, I love doing the shout outs, man. Drop a comment if you guys want a shout out. Um, like I said, we don't have a big platform yet, man, but we're slowly creeping on there. And we're only 700 uh, subscribers away from hitting that big 3K, man. And I'm very excited, man. I hope we could probably hit that in the next two weeks, man. So subscribe to the channel, man, because we are like... We're sliding up there, guys. So let me adjust these rings real quick how he wanted it. And then I'm going to pick up the camera and I'm going to show you what we got going on so you guys can be familiar with, man, this Florida stuff, man. Uh, I definitely think Bruce is going to get pulled over when he's jamming on the road because Florida right now, it is hot with all these uh, uh, with the folk out there, man. You see what I'm saying, man? They're pulling people, people over left and right. I know people that have already went to jail for loud music, man, so... It looks like um, one of those games that they used to play for the, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the Bozo Super Sunday show where they had the little bucket and you have to throw like each one. Here we go, number two. We have EQ, 10, 8, 10, and a uh, 8. And like I said, he didn't want this 10 facing at him, so we had just pitched it out on the outside. Same thing with this one. Uh, that doesn't go necessarily in his face, but it's going outward. Uh, this one he wanted to somewhat forward towards the dash window, and this one towards the roof uh, front window area. So we got pretty good angles on him. And once we fleece this and everything, man, we're gonna have some pretty like strong, mean curves on her. Um, good thing that we already got a lot of the stuff already cut out, and it's you know ready to pretty much just rock and roll for fleece. So. Uh, right now, it's just sitting in place, but what I'm actually going to do now is we're going to actually make reinforcement stands. So like this one's going to get like a stand right here, uh, maybe a stand right here, uh, maybe this stand on each side, or maybe a stand on the inside of this lip, which is pretty good. Uh, we're going to put a stand like right here uh, along the bottom. And this one we are going to, you know, try to reinforcement as much as possible because it is overhanging. But listen, don't, don't get it twisted, man. This Gorilla Glue uh, hot glue is no joke. So once it's in there, it is in there, guys. I really recommend for you guys to get a Gorilla Glue hot, uh, hot glue gun and the glue sticks, man, because these things are like... Doing fiberglass stuff like this, man, it, it is good. Or any arts and crafts that you got going on. Adjusted all the rings, and like, like I said, man, we can throw the ball and see what prize we win. But so all the rings are put on, just how the customer wanted. EQ, uh, ten facing out window, eight facing forward, uh, ten angled out a little bit, and ten facing the roof windshield. Uh, right here, when we loop it, it's just gonna have like a little strong loop, and it's gonna end like right here. But to get a good solid, um, what you call it, angle. We're gonna probably put a dummy eight inside there 
uh, just so it'll give us the shape that we need because if we just drop it um, ain't no telling uh, what type of you know clearance what we're gonna have but I think we should be pretty good it shouldn't be that bad um, more overall I think the console is pretty much ready for fleecing uh, like I said right now we're actually gonna go to Walmart and we have to get some fleece fiberglass mat and a couple other things that we need so we can make sure that we get this thing fleece tomorrow and fiberglass ready to rock and roll because I'm gonna let it dry all day tomorrow so it cures really good like I said Fridays I cut hair so but on Fridays we're probably just gonna all grind it down to you know uh, pretty good and then um, Saturday probably I'll wake up a little bit early in the morning and just sand it down lightly because we do got dunk day that we are gonna actually attend so stay tuned for those videos they're gonna be hot man I I can't wait for dunk day so let me go ahead and clean up I'm actually cutting my hair man because I don't want to go to the store looking nasty and I'll pick up the camera back up when we start heading out So your boy's gonna get a quick soda, man. I don't know what to get. Mountain Dew, Cherry Pepsi sounds good. But man, we're gonna wake up and we're gonna do a spray. Come on. Oh, 75 cents. Okay, so we're in the Walmart right now. I'm gonna go. I gotta get some fiberglass mat. I gotta get some fleece. And I had something else I had to get. But look, we already got here to the fiberglass mat. All right, so right here, look. This is what we need for the structure of the um, console that we're building right now to get solid. You see what I'm saying? And it, this, like, this is the best one that you can use, I feel. I used a lot of the other ones. And this one, it's a lot for the price and it, it, it spreads out pretty good and it gets solid so this is a good thing to get and you can find it here at the automotive section of the walmart i'm gonna drop down in the comments if we should buy some walmart stuff one day and build a system i guarantee you with like what we got going on right with these speakers man we can build something loud and with like doing some comps i'll even do some power acoustics on an amp with everything and that thing will jam with we got wire everything we need to build something loud. Look, I think we even got a dual radio. I do see a Pioneer in here, but I don't know if it was at the other Walmart or this one. Look right there, there's a Pioneer right there. Man, drop down in the comments, man. Let's do a, um, a Walmart build one day, man. All this stuff. All right, I think we got a video coming soon of this these little guns, man. These things are badass. But I am gonna definitely get me one like the little baby AR or this one right here. The M16 or MP5, whatever it looks like. We're gonna get down. Is we need to get some fleece. But let's see if they have just like a little pre cut thing of fleece already. Um, so we don't have to get people to cut it for us. Okay, so we have a yard and a half right here. And it's actually pretty thick. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get it. Look, anti pill fleece. This is good right here. That's what's gonna give us our shape of our um, console. This one feels pretty good too. But I actually like the other one because it actually feels a little bit thicker. It's basically the same thing, but this one. Okay, so the thicker will actually get it a little bit more harder, but you see this one's a little bit more softer. So I feel that it would actually, you know, soak the resin up for a little bit good. All right, so we're actually gonna go ahead and get this guy just because I like the feeling of it a little bit better. All right, another thing I needed was some uh, grinding disc and I just got the ones that I needed. I'm just gonna go ahead and use 60 grit. Um, it's gonna knock off a lot of the, like the rough area when we do it because I got a, like a Makita grinder. So the, the 60 grit would just work good for me. But usually I'll go in steps, either 36 grit, then you know I'll do 80 grit and I know how to control it with the bigger grinders. So um, it, to me, like it, it's good for me. Look, like that's the style grinder that I got but as you can see you know you can buy all that stuff here at Walmart you can honestly buy a lot of the stuff here at Walmart to do like fiberglass stuff look I'll show you what else you can use to do fiberglass stuff at your house you, they got the, the fiberglass mat so now you know what I'm saying if you need a mask they got a mask 
uh, if you want a cup, but you know, I use the, the paper cups, but you got the cups here. Uh, acetone, they got it, and I'm pretty sure they got paintbrushes here somewhere. And you know, you can use all the stuff that's here at your local Walmart to fiberglass, man. You don't need to order none of that stuff from all those other crazy websites that charge you like crazy amounts of stuff for you to do some car audio installs, man. So that's what the page is all about. Show you that you can do car audio stuff at your house with simple tools. Even some guy commented saying, you know, and I read it that you know i do all this cool stuff with just basic tools you see what i'm saying and that's the point of my channel you know show you that you can build all this stuff with just simple tools that you got around the house so i think i pretty much got everything so i'm just gonna get like some grocery stuff but i'm not gonna bore you with any of that stuff and then we'll head back to the house and we'll close out the video man so come to see if they got the hot and spicy chicken sandwich and see what they tell us so, uh, go ahead with order. do you have the hot and spicy uh, what do you mean, like the deluxe spicy? No, like the, the hot, hot and spicy chicken sandwich? The little bit chicken one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I only have the regular one. Oh, dang. Okay, well, let me yeah. get the number five. Medium or large? Uh, medium. What, to drink with that? Let me get a Coke. What kind of sauce? Uh, barbecue's fine. All right, anything else? Yeah, let me get the number seven. Okay. What to drink with that? With a Dr. Pepper. Okay. And I think that'd be it. Thank you so much. All right, so I made it back to the house. I need to get some sunlight real quick. Okay, so console, it is ready to get fleece, and we got the fleece all ready to rock and roll. We got the fiberglass mat. We have uh, grinding discs, uh, pretty much everything that we need so we can finally get to the next step on the console. Man. So drop some comments, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it did take a good little bit of time to get to this point. Uh, man, these things are on there like solid, guys. Like I said, I like that Gorilla uh, glue, um, glue sticks, and with the wood bonding, man, it, it is on there for forever. Um, we got a good enough uh, structure, like uh, supports on it, so the things do not fall when we're fleecing. And you guys are gonna see um, the shape that it's actually gonna take tomorrow, in tomorrow's video of it, man. So man, definitely stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, drop some comments uh, for them shout outs, man, and we're gonna keep grinding. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a good day today. I'm going to get in there, start editing this video, and drop it for you guys, man. So I will catch you guys later.